So this third phase of the writer's passage, what we call the threshold phase, this is the betwixt in between. This is when, when most people think of a vision quest or a vision fast uh, or a walkabout. Um, they think about this time out in the wilderness, this time in, in nature, um, this uh, solo time, although it's anything but solo. So threshold is where you have stepped across the threshold circle and from the life you had. Or at least we could say the attachment to the life you had. This is not, it's not necessary to end all things, like quit your job, you know, end your relationship, move to a new town to have a severance. It's more about the attachment to these things in the old way that, that you're letting go of. So when you step across that threshold, you're stepping into the unknown. This is where the mystery is. This is, this is where Jesus went into the desert for those 40 days and nights. This is where Muhammad went up on the mountain. This is where Buddha went under the Bodhi tree. And they sat. And they fasted. And they prayed for new vision for their lives. Um, so this is the, the threshold phase is that in between, that betwixt in between, where you're not in the old and you haven't created the new life. You're literally betwixt in between. And so this period that where one reaches out beyond themselves uh, for connection, for support. You know, we could say you, you, you reach out to the spirit of nature. You reach out to your creator, to your understanding of the sacred. You reach out to something beyond yourself to assist you in, in getting through this threshold. Because traditionally the threshold phase is not something you simply can do by your own willpower and your own ego strength. Um, those things begin to crack and fade away in the threshold phase. Um, the ego begins to dismantle itself. But, you know, the trees and the mountains and the rivers aren't really concerned about your identity <laughs> or your job status <laughs> or your social status you know they're just with you and so those those ways of holding yourself up uh, by yourself begin to crack and fade and you find yourself reaching out beyond yourself uh, maybe it's to a yellow warbler that happens to land on a, a limb when you've you know you find yourself in, in this uh, upheaval of grief that just shows up, surprises you. You didn't even know it was there. And in the moment of, of questioning, a bird, a yellow bird, lands on a limb and sits with you. And in that moment, that becomes your God. And in that moment, you pray like you've never prayed. And you feel the grief rising, and you're reaching for something beyond yourself to help you navigate forward. This is threshold. This is what the the Lakota have that word hemblecha, meaning to cry for a vision. Um, and so to, to be in that place uh, where you your palms are empty, your heart is open, and, and you're surrendered mm. and you're waiting. Mm. Or maybe not even waiting, maybe Waiting being a construct of thought, you're just open. Um, and it's in that place that one has an awakening, an encounter. It's, it's, it's not something that you can structure with, a, I'm gonna go sit in the backyard or I'm gonna go uh, let go of everything and wait for my awakening. It's, no, this is happens when our, when our ego is broken down and, and when, Often when tears are flowing, I think that's why they call it the cry for a vision. It, it's in that surrender that we are most open to something greater than ourselves saying, come this way, come this way.